Do you want to save all your contact form 7 data to the database in your WordPress site? Then this quick video is for you. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Now let's get started. Here's an example of a message stored to the WordPress database that you can see right inside WordPress. If I click on any one of those bolded text lines, text entries, we see the message right here that we're going to submit and create throughout this video, but it stores it right into WordPress and that makes your life super easy. To get started with this, all you have to do is go to plugins and then add new and look up CFDB7. This is the one right here, has over 600,000 active installs, five out of five stars, compatible with the current version. All those things are great and check out. I'm gonna install this now on this test site. If you're installing this on a live site, I recommend you back up your site first because you never know if something's gonna go wrong. If you need help with that, I have a tutorial in the description down below on how to back up your site and then restore it if something goes wrong. Let's click install now and then activate and we're all done. Nothing else to do. If you go back to our contact form, let's fill this form out and send it. Our message has been sent. Here's the message inside of our email account. And inside of our WordPress dashboard, it appears here under contact forms. Here it shows a list of all the current contact forms on our site. I know they have funny names. This is just for videos I'm making, but yours would probably be called contact form or marketing contact or assistant contact or what have you. Depends on how many forms you have on your site. You can have just one. That works perfectly too. And the count on the right here is how many emails have been stored for each form. So the one we have currently on the site is contact form seven dropdown. If I click on this one, it shows us the email that was sent. If we click on any one of these highlighted blue texts, it shows us the actual email that was sent. This is the form, date and time again, and here's the content of the form that was filled out. This will not include attachments. So if you have an attachment field on your form, it will not be added to this message. The attachment will, however, still arrive with the regular email. It just won't be stored inside of here. And if we go back to the main list of the emails, this one is currently showing is unread. There's a very subtle difference. If we check this box here, we can do various things, including delete, but also we have read and unread. So if I switch this back to unread, watch this text as it bolds slightly after I click apply. So you see it's bolded. When you have a list of emails, you're able to see which are read and unread, which you've seen and haven't seen based on the bolding of the text. And then delete, of course, check that box, click apply, and you can delete that message. And when you have many messages, you can also export them to CSV and use that data in a spreadsheet if you wanna do it that way. To make this work, all you have to do is click on export CSV, download it to your computer. I already have one downloaded. If we go into a spreadsheet app like Google Sheets or any other one, Excel or Mac numbers or whatever you want to use, and we import the CSV, it should look pretty good. Let's see if it does. There it is right there. We're importing. We're going to create a, it's going to replace the current spreadsheet. These options you choose, but would depend on what you're trying to do here. Click on import data. As expected, as I hoped, it has all the categories or all the field names across the top and then all the data down below. So you can do some great data crunching with the export option for the CSVs of your contact forms. If you want to stop spam messages from your contact form 7 forms from overwhelming you, you're going to want to check out this free and easy method I show you up in this video right over here. Stop spam this weekend. Just do what's in this video. It's super simple. Check it out right there.